if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 26 of my player here on FIFA 16. We've got a game against Coventry today to start us off in the cup. Obviously Coventry are the side that we played for last year on loan, most recently only a handful of episodes ago, helping them get promotion into the championship, which is what that game at the end of the month is against them as well in the league. So uh, we are obviously trying to get ourselves a transfer move away from Middlesbrough right now. And I've noticed in the comment section, a lot of you seem to be... Uh, experiencing the same sort of issues as we are right now. You say that you've put yourself on the transfer list, but nobody is bidding for you until transfer deadline day. Now, we've been on the list for the majority of this season so far, and we've gotten to the 10th of August with no bids to this point. So it seems that uh, what you're experiencing is what I'm experiencing with this series as well. We'll put it to the test. We'll see if we can actually get a bid for us before deadline day. Obviously, that's what, one, two, three episodes away. So hopefully we can get something done between now and then. And fingers crossed you'll have a, uh, a vote to vote or a move to vote on before that point. But if it has to go until transfer deadline day to get us an offer, then that will just, you know, so be it. That's exactly what we didn't want. But it's what we're going to have to put up with by the looks of things. Hopefully, if that is the case, EA patched that because obviously... If you're going through two months worth of uh, two months worth of a transfer window and nobody's bidding until the very last day, that's not particularly realistic. Especially when you're such a sought-after uh, player as we are, people have been interested in us for uh, you know for the entirety of the time that we've been listed on the transfer market, but nobody's bid. So hopefully, fingers crossed, things change for us and uh, we can get ourselves a move. But we'll play Coventry today. We'll play Leeds in the cup in the league as well. And uh, we should be able to get a progression through in the cup. And fingers crossed, we're hoping for uh, a victory in the league as well. So if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you drop it a like rating. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow all my links to social media in the description. And uh, we'll jump straight into this game against our former employers. O'Brien into Madison. It's going to push down the line. Should keep that in and has done. That's a decent cross as well. Lemeris is on the end of it. He was our replacement in that cam spot for this game. And well, he almost got Coventry off to the perfect start. Vinslow's just completely outmuscled me there. The ginger beard is striking again. But here's Kelly Evans down the left. That's not such a good cross. But that was the first chance of the game. And it was very, very close to, uh, to Coventry taking the lead there as confirmation of Sesk moving from Chelsea to Valencia for £41 million. That's a massive move. O'Brien dinks that over the top looking for James Madison. He's the striker and I'm sure they prefer to have him in the box. But if they can work the ball into someone else who's pushed forward into the box, I'm sure they won't mind. Got it back to Phillips right now. Cross comes in, it's deflected. Fleck wins the header and Adoma clears it, but only as far as Stokes. Drills it back down the line to Kelly Evans. Working it about nicely, but can they get the ball into the box? We know how dangerous Coventry can be in situations like this because we were involved in them last season. But for now... They're playing a little bit of possession football, which is something that we didn't do too much of last year, actually. But here's Fleck. Fleck with a shot off the bar. Wowzers. That was similar to our goal that we scored against Norwich in uh, the last episode. That just kind of floated towards the goal net. Obviously, we scored ours, but they weren't quite able to do so there. But lovely shot from John Fleck, nonetheless. But sadly for him, it came back off the woodwork. Damia into me. Decent first touch. Got it through the gap to Stuani. I'm going to push on here, and he may use me again. He has done when the pace has powered past the defender. Are we going to be in to score against Coventry? We are. We've scored against our employers from last season. Unfortunately, our friends that we made last year will not be enjoying watching us do that. Just the power and the pace to push past the defender with a first touch. He tried his absolute best to get there, but he just couldn't quite do it. And we've rifled that into the far bottom corner. Very nice finish. Middlesbrough 1, Coventry 0. Vinslow to Fleck, across to Kelly Evans. You're going to do something with it, Coventry. You've been pissing about with possession for the majority of this second half and not done anything with it. Lemeres tries to break through one challenge, does so nicely. Can he get the cross in? There's a bit of space. They're going to win a corner. Probably the first highlight you've seen in this second half, and there's only 15 minutes to go. Not been any chances as of yet, at least that I can recall. Kike comes on for Stuani, though. Stuani's done nothing in this game so far, apart from set us through for the goal. So uh, nice to see Kike come on. Hopefully that will add a little bit more 
Uh, urgency up top. Oh, Mayas with a smart save. We've got beaten to the ball at the near post. They've brought on a new striker as well. We'll have to pay more attention at these uh, near post corners. That's the first time we've been on near post duty and he's actually come straight at us and we uh, weren't ready for it. They got a good shot off on goal or a good header on target. But luckily for us, goalkeeper was on hand to make a very good save. Nice ball over the top, should be cleared away. Ayala brings it down well, Jimmy Ryan gets it to me. We're on part the bus, so nobody's really busting a gut to get forward here, other than Reach, who appears to want to go on a nice little run, which he has done. He's gonna give it to me. I'll quickly try and turn his side Raider Johnson, which hasn't worked. He's a very good defender. I should have known better to, uh, to try and get past him in that fashion. He never really got beaten like that when we were at Coventry last season, so I don't know why I expect him to be able to do the same to him uh, here, but O'Brien's given that straight away. They're uh, not keeping possession very well in this uh, final few moments here, Coventry, when really this is when they need to keep possession because uh, they need to get the ball back down the other end. In the majority of this second half, they've kept the ball but not done anything with it. Oh, just watch the offline line. Off line, off side line, sorry. Off line line. That's a good clearance by Raider Johnson. Couldn't quite get there. Two minutes remaining in the game. Oh, I'm taking the throw, am I? Okay. Adoma, is he going to come back to me? I'll call for it, and he's going to poke it to me. We'll just squeeze it through that gap. That was a terrible attempted pass, Chez. Don't know what you're doing that for. Ball's gone across to Phillips. They need to get forward, and now, Coventry, because they are running out of seconds to get the ball into the box and have themselves a chance. I'm going to try and get in the way here if I can. There's no real urgency here from Thomas, and there goes the final whistle. They're kind of a victim of their own lack of determination to get an equaliser there, Coventry. We win the game 1-0 thanks to our goal. Coventry won, or Coventry nil, sorry, Middlesbrough won. Well, back into the old habits of last season. Middlesbrough won, Coventry nil, but uh, pleased to get the goal. Unfortunately, it had to come against our, uh, our former team, so uh, never mind. I'm sure they'll forgive me in the long term, especially if they can get a decent result against us in the league at the end of the month. But hopefully we won't be here by the end of the month. We'll head towards the Leeds game, and if we have a transfer offer, I will show you it. And if we don't, we'll just go straight into the game against Leeds. Oh, we've intercepted that we play through Stuani through the gap go on Stuani go on son oh he's played it across to uh, Clayton okay I was hoping Stuani was going to take that all the way Clayton's gone round down to the corner and then passed it all the way back to a defender that is infuriating when you play someone through one on one so I'm just going to have a crack here from distance it's deflected and it's gone over the bar for a corner we're getting a couple of accomplishments there though which is decent we'll take those thank you very much I'm pretty pissed off, though, that Stuani decided when he's through one-on-one -on -one to actually pass that out wide. And then also with the uh, the man that received the ball, Clayton, to then just sprint to the corner. Never mind. There's not much I can do about the CPU uh, play when you pass it to them. You just kind of have to make do with whatever they decide is for the best. But there's our first chance of the game, and it comes after 10 minutes or so. Berardi into Wood, tackled well by Reese Williams. Real solid challenge by the, uh, the centre-back, and uh, Chris Wood had gone down injured. Obviously, two Chris Woods on the pitch today. The striker for, uh, for Lees, the New Zealand guy, and then myself. But uh, Dallas is cutting inside the box here. He's going to shoot in the end of Gats. He needed to save that. He's near post as well. There's Lees' first chance of the game. Hopefully, one Chris Wood doesn't have as good a game as the other in, uh, in our favour. But there, Chris Wood has been injured there, as you can see. He's at Leeds now. He was previously at Leicester. And I know he's played for a couple of sides over the past uh, season or so. He was at West Brom as well, I think. But I uh, might be mistaken there. But he's not. He's always kind of threatened to be a uh, you know breakthrough into like a lower Premier League side, but never really been able to do quite that, which is what we're trying to do now that we're at Middlesbrough. We're trying to get the move to break through at a lower Premier League side or someone around that sort of level. It's not quite worked for us yet, but uh, hopefully it will by the end of this transfer window. But for now, at least, the here and now, we are staying 0-0 against Leeds, and that is a terrible attempted ball down the line. I get it through that gap to Stuani. Try and squeeze it out wide. It's good ball, actually, into the path of Vilcho. He drills it across the box, and there, arriving in the middle, I think, was Reach. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Reach in the coming from out wide to run and be the uh, you know the man at the back post. Lovely ball in. That ball across is absolutely disgusting. There's nothing you can do as a defender against that. Absolutely petrified. If Bamber had tried to take a touch on that, he probably would have scored an own goal. Really, really good ball in. And uh, there's only one outcome when a ball like that gets fizzed across the six-yard box. And the outcome is Middlesbrough 1, Leeds United 0. And it was Adam Clayton, not Reach, that scored the goal. Dallas to Cook. 
into the middle to Bianchi. He'll try and force him out wide with a little bit of jockeying, which we have done. Taylor gets it out to Dallas, though, who's burst past the defender. That's a great cross as well. Luckily, Forshaw was there to stop my namesake from getting on the end of it. Otherwise, that could have been quite dangerous for us. Lovely cross in. There have been some really good crosses in this game or in this episode, whether it be for uh, us or the opposition. There was the one that uh, Coventry put in at the beginning of the previous game, the one for our goal here, and uh, a lot of chances are actually coming from out wide right now. I see people mentioning on Twitter as well that, cross that people think that they've maybe patched crossing and uh, that crosses are a little bit more overpowered than they used to be. So maybe we'll try and test that, try and get on the end of a, a cross or two. We'll see what happens. We need to get the ball out wide first. Maybe I should drift out wide myself to put in a couple of crosses. Who knows? We'll see, though. Clayton's going to get that to Stuani. Although, unfortunately, he's been blocked off by the defender and they'll come away with it. Verardi across to Cook. That was an awkward touch, but he's been able to keep it in his stride. Nice ball out wide to Dallas, who gets a good early cross in. Rhys Williams clears it away, but only as far. Oh, nearly, 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 nearly. The first shot was terrible from the man on the edge of the box, but it went straight to Cook, who's tried to hit it first time as it almost came up at him underneath his feet. And uh, he was just about able to get a shot off, but it didn't quite work. And they're bringing on Sloth as we bring on Kike with 20 minutes to go. Cook lofts it in. Headed away by Reese Williams. There's nobody up the field to retrieve it, though. Bamba lofts it back in. Flicked on by Wood. Oh, it was on its way in. Agatsy didn't react until the very last minute. That was so strange. Why did he just not come out and catch that? Really nice flick on by uh, Wood, though. Headed towards that bottom corner. That's twice they've just lofted it into him and let him flick it on like that and had a chance on goal. But uh, that time, Agatsy was able to make a good save, and that was the last action of the game. So uh, that last-ditch save from Agatsy saves us all three points. Thank you very much, Keeps. Unfortunately, one Chris Wood couldn't get on the score sheet. Well, neither Chris Wood can get on the score sheet in this game, but we were able to get on the score sheet in the first one. So we'll take two 1-0 victories and uh, one in the cup, one in the league, and we'll jump back to uh, the transfer window and see if we get an offer for us. No bids for us as of yet, but we haven't been selected for this Watford game, so we can advance a little bit further on and see if we can get an offer before the Blackburn game. So uh, again, well, let's actually just quickly sim this and see how we get on, and then I will cut again to see if we get an offer for us before the Blackburn game. Just want to see what we can get here, and it's a 2-1 defeat, unfortunately. Never mind, we'll see if we can get an offer before the Blackburn game then. OK, well, we've gotten to the Blackburn game and still no offers for us. So we will come back then in the next episode and uh, we will play Blackburn and Mansfield if we don't get offers for us between now and then. And uh, we will play in the Capital One Cup again for the next round. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything I missed over the past few days. There's been a lot of career mode action going on in both series, in the Chelsea series and the, My uh, the Wolfsburg series as well. So uh, get cracking on those episodes if you missed them. But for now, for this afternoon, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next.